Let's move on to pretty solid 11 guys in this category. Pretty. Pretty. Pretty solid. Run through them real quick here. We got Martin Maldonado, Eric Haas, Christian Vasquez, Danny Jansen, Carson Kelly, Tyler Stevenson, Joey Bart, Austin Nola, Nick Fortes, and Kybert Ruiz. Martin Maldonado is the guy here for me that I really need to talk about because same. I contemplate. I really thought about this. Okay, good. Because I'm confused as to why you don't have him in really good. I, I, there is an argument to have Martin Maldonado in any category from almost elite to the rest. He yeah. could be anywhere. And he's yeah, kind of depending on what season what, you're what looking you, at, what, what you what you value. Yeah. And if, if Martin Maldonado were not in the Houston Astros lineup, I don't like, I, I don't think if Martin Maldonado goes to a few other teams that he's going to start for them. The Astros lineup is so deep and so good that you don't mind the lack of offensive production that he brings, which is not, it's not good. He's not good offensively, but he's here and needed to be talked about because what he does with the pitching staff, mm -hmm. what he does behind the plate is some of the best in baseball. It's unbelievable. So when I look at a catcher, I don't just want to look at offensive numbers, but we can't deny the offensive numbers that they, they they're not good. In fact, it's, it's pretty bad, but he did have some, he had some clutch hits in the playoffs last year. He did. But the reason he's here and I believe needed some acknowledgement is because everybody loves throwing to him. He's great. He transforms a pitching staff mm -hmm. and there is a lot of value in that. There is, there really is a lot of value in that, but I just, I, I really was kind of at a conundrum of where, where to put him. Is that not the most important thing though, is to be able to connect and transform a pitching staff, not to mention, okay, world series champ, but he led the American league in both put outs and assists as a catcher finished in top five in AL and caught stealing in a, in the third straight season. So You're right. He is he is probably one of the best offensively at uh, he is the number show at his position and helping the guy on the mound have his best performance. I was at a very big conundrum with this and and you're right. And for the first time in the history of these tiers, I am going to change this. Woo! Let me put she out the graphic. I, I when the graphic goes out on social, we'll She just did it. That. I I you're right. Thank you. And, and that's why he was even here to begin with, because at the catcher position, it's not offensive value. That's the only thing you have to take into consideration. So, yeah, I was all over the map here. So, yeah, well, you're right. We'll bump him up. Is he really he's good? Really, he's really good. All right. And, it, and okay. that, all, that all comes from his defensive. All defense. All, it's all defense. Well, and his connection with the pitcher. Well, yeah. 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 His behind-the-plate prowess. Yes. So, um, yeah. The other names on here, Eric Haas with the Detroit Tigers – appears to be like he could be um, a, a staple for the, the Tigers in the future. He looks to be pretty good. Christian Vasquez has been all over the place in the last few years. Red Sox, then to the Astros, won a World Series there, now with the Minnesota Twins. Danny Jansen, pretty solid. Carson Kelly and the Arizona Diamondbacks, um, I think hasn't quite lived up to the hype. Tyler Stevenson, Joey Bart. Joey Bart, he's here and pretty solid. And that's a disappointment. Joey, Joey Bart was tabbed to be the future and the replacement of Buster Posey, mm -hmm. right? And that's a tough title to have thrown at you. Buster Posey was there for a long, long time in San Francisco, won a bunch of championships. Joey Bart drafted high, catcher, comped to comparison to Buster Posey. I mean, it's all there. He wasn't good. He wasn't good last year. 215, 11 homers, 25 RBIs. I need to see a big step forward from Joey Bart, and um, and that is possible. We could see that, but last year wasn't great. It was just uh, pretty pretty solid. Mm -hmm. And then you have Austin Nola, who if the Padres could take back that trade, sending Andres Munoz and Ty France to the Mariners for Austin Nola, they would. But he had a he's decent. Nick Fortes and Kybert Ruiz, who is a big pickup for the Nationals. So we'll see. Those are all the names there. And that rounds out my catcher tiers. All of the rest are in a category aptly named the rest. The rest. That's it.
I'm just happy I got one moved up. You did. I did. You did. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.